What's up, Taurus? It's me, the Fly Empress, and welcome to my channel, you guys. So, I've been channeling some messages for y'all. Um, the first one I got was an owl. I kept seeing the owl, and this owl was just kind of looking back and forth. Um, I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you're about to receive a lot of messages left and right. All right, this you could be receiving these messages from someone who has passed over to the other side. Um, I do feel like you got someone who's very dear to you, someone who's very close to you as well. But I also feel like you guys can help somebody that's close to you in the physical world. But the song that I channel for y'all, and I can't say shit, but I'm going to say just a little bit of it. But uh, it's Whitney Houston's song. Uh, Count on me through thick and thin, a friendship that will never end. If you are weak, I will be strong. Helping you to carry on. Some of y'all that has some, a friend that passed away or someone very, very close to you. This person still look over you in the afterlife. They still watch out for you, okay? They see what you're going through. For some of you guys, you've been going through a very, very rough time. And I feel like the devil been trying to throw obstacles in your way, but... For some of you, you are for for some of you, you are starting to see that you aren't alone, and you know that your faith is going to carry you a long way. It's your faith that's going to get you up out of this. So I do feel like a lot of you guys are are holding on strong, like you still, you know, fighting for the life that you know you deserve. I feel like a lot of you guys are very focused at this time. You know, and I'm also seeing like a little girl riding up a hill on a bike. You feel like you've been going through an uphill battle. Yes, but I definitely feel like spirit is about to bring some news to you. Or you are about to receive a lot of messages that's going to help you get to that next stepping stone. All right, or even get to the spot you're trying to be at in your life. So I pulled one oracle card for y'all already, and that was teach. All right, um, the Holy Spirit have a funny way of teaching. Sometimes Spirit will take you through so much until you completely break down. All right, until you break down to the point where you have no choice but to go to Spirit, because no matter what physical person you go through to, like they still don't have the answers. They they don't know what to tell you, all right? I definitely feel like spirit, your ancestors about to show you things that's gonna help you out, okay? It's gonna help you out for the rest of your life. You're about to learn new ways of thinking, new ways of being, okay? Taking up new courses. Some of you guys, you done um, took up a new course. Are you about to? Are you, you about to take up a new study as well? I see a lot of learning. Okay, I feel like you guys, you love to feed your mind. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Here, show me what I need to see for the Taurus. What's going on here, Divine Holy Spirit, for the Taurus? Ooh, look, y'all, opportunity beckons. Yes, y'all been waiting for this a long, long, long time. You're like, spirit, what's taking so long? I'm tired. I'm wore out. I've been doing this too long by myself. All right, some of you guys had to go in solitude. You had to cut some people out of your life, okay? So you can get a new perspective on your life and where you really want to be, okay? Yeah. I feel like you don't have a lot of nights where you were worry or you was thinking about your future or the way your life have played out, you guys. You also could be concerned about somebody that you was dealing with. This could have been a twin flame or a soulmate. 
but I definitely feel like somebody that you was tied to was toxic and they was holding you back. And a lot of you guys, you decided to go after your stability here. Okay. This person was heavy. They look like a bowling ball. This person was very heavy on you. You realize you can take this person with you. Okay. All these fell that I ain't going to take all them. What else here? Give me one more. Yeah, I definitely see you guys making a change in your life, a shift. Everybody, y'all, it's a big activation that's coming up with this Lion Gate, August the 8th. That's known as the Lion Gate. It's a portal, okay? We're about to step into the 5D. And a lot of people, the mindset, the way we used to think, you know, all that stuff is finna shift, all right? I see a lot of people really starting to tap into their higher self, okay? So you guys, spirit is asking for you to take the lead. You're about to take the lead in your life. Something is about to be, uh, you're about to be granted access to something that you've been wanting for a long time. Yes. Yeah. Something is about to happen here. All right, you guys, let's see. What else, spirit? So we got control coming out in the reverse. I see you guys are either letting something go or something is uh, removing itself out of your life here. We got chaser in the reverse. Yeah, a lot of you guys, I feel like you could have been chasing after your twin flame in the past or somebody that you was dealing with. You done chasing this person. You, you done with this person running over you and manipulating you and playing games, all right? Yeah, you, you taking them ropes off. Okay, so we, we, we got separation and illusion. Okay, for some of you guys, you realize that being in this relationship with this person was an illusion. For some of you guys, you feel like this person never was yours. I feel like with all this red here, this person could have um, played on your emotions. All right, it could have had you in your emotions. I, your, I feel like your energy changed and your emotions is your energy. Okay, energy. <laughs> your emotions is your energy, okay? Um, energy is just energy in motion, okay? But yeah, a lot of you guys, you chose to walk away from this. You chose to separate yourself from that. We got harmony and precision. Yeah, you started putting king. You started looking at your life through like a bird's eye view. I kept seeing birds. Every time I meditated for you guys, I was trying to channel a message. I kept seeing birds, all type of birds. But the bird really that stood out to me was the owl. But you were putting some type of detail or something in your life. I feel like you being very disciplined at this time. You're pulling back, all right? You're paying attention to what you put your time into as well. What you put your energy into. <clears throat> For some of you, you realize you was putting your energy into something that no longer fit anymore, okay? You can't get no another strain through that. Here, what else is going on here for my Taurus? Yeah, house of cards. Something had to come down. All right. Spirit made, spirit took down the walls that I feel like was blocking your view. For some of you guys, I feel like this person, they could have did, did a lot of mind manipulation and this was blocking your view. For some of you guys, I feel like You've been working on um, self-love. For some of you guys, you felt like you wasn't worthy or you wasn't going to find that one that was meant to be in your life. And so you could have settled for somebody that was no good for you. So Spirit brought this shit down. Okay, because Spirit said, no, nah, baby, this is going to lead you farther down the rabbit hole. And you're trying to go in the opposite direction. Okay, so we got to start learning not to work against spirit when spirit is trying to help us and we got taboo and judgment coming up in the reverse 
somebody somebody wasn't somebody was hesitating on making a decision here okay I do feel like you are this person somebody got comfortable living this lie because that's what it was it was a lie okay the spirit is asking you to take the lead here it's time to take the lead in your own life spirit what else is going on what else spirit? what else spirit for my taurus okay all right so we got promise and commit you and me all right spirit and you also got self-love comfort and own skin some of you guys you don't even feel comfortable in your own body you feel like it's something that's always wrong with you it's either your ears it's your nose it's your mouth it's your eyes it's something it's your skin because right here it says comfortable in own skin so some of you and this woman in this picture she's dark skin all right and i think dark skin people are beautiful all right i i really do i have a friend that's dark skin and she looks like a barbie doll and for a lot of you guys you can have a problem with your skin your skin color as well but spirit is telling you that you are fine the way that you are all right love your body your body is a temple you are a goddess love yourself and for some of you guys <laughs> spirit why you got me talking about this we have i haven't even made it this far with you guys to talk about this and you might think i sound a little weird but um spirit just told me for some of you guys i don't know if y'all know anything about sexual energy but instead of giving it to a man especially someone who's devaluing your body spirit wants you to self love yourself touch your skin love your skin when you touch yourself okay you, like literally <clears throat> for some practices you know women you you take off your clothes you you know lay on the bed and just touch yourself love every part of you that you touch you know buy you flowers or roses and rub them on your body touch yourself in a sexual way fall in love with who you are the complete you and there's nothing wrong with that at all all right we got to get used to that we're used to other people doing it but we can't do it to ourselves that's another practice of self-love as well, especially if you have issues with your body and you don't like this and you don't like that and your skin ain't the right color. You got fat under your arms and your booty too big and your hips too wide and you don't like none of that. And your feet too wide. I mean, <laughs> your feet too wide. But yeah, you, you can't do that. You have to love your body, love your skin. My, look at my double T. You know what I'm saying? I love my T. I got like K9 teeth. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? When I get a chance, I get some bracelets. But other than that, I love my body the way it is. I'm in no big rush. I love the way God created me. All right. Yeah, I might be a little, little, little bit chunky because of COVID. You know what I'm saying? I've been stuck in the house and working all the time and taking care of these four kids. But at the end of the day, I love who I am. All right. God made me, he made me special. He made me in his image, all right? So spirit wants you to balance your energy to fall in love with yourself, okay? Fall in love with who you are. Yes, be committed to yourself. Self-love, commit to self-love, all right? Yeah, promise yourself self-love. Yes, y'all. Yeah, we got ro romantic and thorny coming out in a reverse. Spirit said, you don't need this right now. Right now, you need to focus on you. You need to focus on your own growth, on your own spirituality, on whatever you're trying to manifest in your life. Work on you. Don't worry about no romantic partner right now. Because what spirit is about to send you is a big-ass gift. 
And we have to learn the lessons about the people that we done dated in our life. But a lot of times it's a pattern. And so spirit will not bring big blessings in your life like that when you're dealing with people like this. Because people like this, is they will manipulate you into you giving them everything that you got. You know, especially if you were dealing with somebody and they've been on and off with you. You come into a lot of, lot of money and then, oh, this person over here with you. But you've been over there for two, four, five, six years. Now, all of a sudden, you over here with me because I'm making money now. You know what I'm saying? So, it's definitely things that we got to change about ourselves before that lover, that partner, that lifelong partner come in our life. Okay? Enjoy your singlehood. Enjoy knowing who you are, learning who you are. Dating yourself. What do you like? Do you know what you like? Do you know what you accept and what you, you, what you accept and what you uh, won't accept? Okay? Can you go on a date by yourself? Do you got to be around everybody all the time? Do you got time to sit and, and chit chat with God? Like, work on you before you worry about being tied up in a relationship here. Because I definitely feel like spirit is about to send you something in your life. Spirit, anything else here? Emptiness and independent. Okay, some of you guys, your kids done left, all right? They probably out in college, are they out of the house, all right? And spirit is telling you now it's time to put your energy in yourself. If you've been dealing in, in situations where you haven't been happy, Spirit says it's time to change that now. All right? It's a reset. It's time for you to start working on you. It's time for you to start focusing on you again. You got to learn yourself all over again because you've been spending your whole life trying to take care of kids. Okay? A lot of times we lose ourselves trying to work all the time and take care of kids and take care of everybody else. We don't, we're not taking care of ourselves. And Spirit is saying it's time now. For some of you guys, your kids are older. Okay, they're not babies anymore. It's time for you to start putting more attention into yourself. Okay? So let me see, y'all. I'm going to pull couple of tarot's oh hold on spirit what's going on for the Taurus spirit okay we got the emperor here the four swords in the reverse what else spirit what's going on with the Taurus for this full moon and Aquarius all right we got the four of cups coming out in the reverse too y'all we got two we got two fours beside each other Okay. Y'all definitely focusing on your stability at this time. All right. A lot of you guys are boss, your CEOs. Okay. You're trying to get out of your, um, your mind and your emotions regarding something here. <clears throat> I feel like you don't went, <clears throat> for some of you guys, you don't went through a major breakup or you're leaving, um, uh, a cycle that's that's been very depressing to you. For some of you guys, you've really been in your head regarding situations and people. Okay, so we got uh King of Pentacles here. All right. For some of you guys, you just want somebody that's gonna give you that equal give and take. Somebody who's going to be solid in your life. Somebody that's going to be committal. Somebody who don't break their promises. Somebody who's stable. Somebody who can financially take care of themselves. You want somebody who's wise. You don't want no little bitty ass boy. You want somebody who's, um, who think like a man. All right. Who think like a king. Who think like an emperor. Yes. You guys are mainly focusing on your finances at this time, though. Like, real talk. This is what you're focusing on at this time. I do feel like you guys could have walked away from a situation. You didn't want to leave this situation, but you felt like you didn't have a choice. For some of you, Spirit, what else? 
Yeah, eight of cups, you can't make it. <laughs> eight of cups, eight of cups. This is my walking away card, okay? This is my walking away card, but this is my also um, going on my spiritual journey card, all right? This woman is walking away from this passion here because in this cup, is there's not water, there's fire. So whatever this, this woman was dealing with, they was all about passion, all about the here and now, um, all about what feel good, what look good. You know, they're walking away from this and they're going after some type of spiritual enlightenment right now. Okay. And with the star card, I definitely feel like you guys are going to be working on healing yourself, focusing on yourself and receiving some divine messages. She pulling messages out the sky, y'all. Y'all got some, some ancestors and spirit guides that's going to be talking to y'all around this time. Get ready to um, have some vivid dreams. Y'all need to write y'all dreams down. Put y'all book by y'all bed. When y'all wake up, write it down, okay? You're about to receive a lot of divine messages that's about to help you, that's going to assist you. They see you, okay? They know what you're going through, and they're ready to guide you, okay? It's time for you to be blessed now. All right, so let me see. Divine Holy Spirit, access to fear, guys. Tell me why I need to get to my Taurus. What do the Taurus need to know at this time, Spirit? Oh, God. Spirit. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got a lot here. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. I kind of thought I was going crazy because when I was meditating, it looked like I saw a mushroom, but I was like, nah. And I said, Spirit, show me something else. Show me something clear, something that I could understand. And Spirit kept showing me birds. <laughs> but it's a mushroom here. You got a mushroom. So what do mushrooms do? Mushrooms is like a psychedelic, right? People have out-of-body experiences when they eat mushrooms. And a lot of times, well, some people use mushrooms and even weed to help them meditate, to help them tap farther into um, consciousness. But with this here, I definitely feel like some of you guys, if you haven't learned to meditate, you're going to be learning how to meditate, okay? Calming your mind, breathing properly, and tapping into your spirit, letting your angels talk to you, really paying attention to the signs and the symbols, writing them down. And when you write them down, say what they mean to you. Right beside it, what do, it, what do that symbol mean to you, okay? Because spirit is going to send you messages that you understand. Even if that's not really what it is, if that's what it looked like to you, then that spirit messed to you. Spirit know your language. And <laughs> my air just cut on, so that's true. All right. Um, we also got the cross. So know that your angels, Jesus, God is with you. You are divinely protected. They know what you're going through and you being divinely guided. All right. And we got a key. I told y'all, y'all about to access some divine knowledge. Something is about to come in for you guys. Be open, be receptive. All right? We got to start trusting ourselves. Because all the answers, they lie within us. Spirit is very real. And then we got elephant here. And this, this elephant got a lot of stars on it. I think it looked like an elephant. It got a lot of stars on it. Something big is coming. Something big is coming into your life, baby. Spirit wants you to be solid, okay? Put up firm boundaries. Be disciplined. Elephants also represent wisdom, right? You're about to receive some wisdom that's going to help you ascend on a whole nother level. And you're going to see it here in the 3D. 
for some of you guys, you're not going to know. You, you're not going to recognize yourself in a couple of years. All right. I feel like you're going to make a big impact on this world. All right. Because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the jungle book and the elephant storming through the forest. Like when the elephants come through, when the stampede come through, everybody move. Yeah. For some of you guys, you're about to be a star. Because all these stars is here. People are going to know you. All right. But anyway, you guys, those are my messages. I hope y'all liked them. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. And until we see each other later, I love y'all. Peace.